Hello students, our today's topic is Atmosphere There are three domains, major domains of the earth as we all know and these three major domains of the earth are the first that is land or we can say lithosphere the next one is the water or we can say hydrosphere and the next and the very important one is the air or we can say atmosphere so today I'll take this topic air what is air or atmosphere atmosphere is nothing this is our earth and our earth is surrounded by a gas or air which covers our earth from its old sides like a blanket this red circle which I draw here is the atmosphere in atmosphere we found many gases which is called which we can understand easily through composition of atmosphere means how atmosphere is composed by which which gases and the next important topic in it is the layers of atmosphere now layers of atmosphere means the structure of atmosphere with the structure of atmosphere from land to here uh, the last in the universe from till where the air or the gas is found today the topic which i am taking is the layers of here now this is our earth this is equator so now till here from pole to equator from pole let us go to upward side sky and from here also to sky so now i am taking this area this land area from pole to equator so from pole to equator that is which i am drawing here this is this is our pole that is the 90 degree to here equator that is 0 degree so the land which I take here is from 90 degree to 0 degree land area now from here as we are going to upward side and that is so this is how let us understand that how our earth is made one by one this is our first layer or sphere sorry the upper limit of this sphere is 14 to 16 kilometer here in on the equator equatorial area why it is approximately 4 to 6 kilometer only here in the on the polar region so it is not straight line this sphere is called troposphere troposphere now tropos the what is the importance of troposphere we see the importance of troposphere then in troposphere we found each and everything let us come to the physical features then all the physical features like plain, mountain, plateau, coastal region, desert, glaciers, islands, oceans, sea etc all are here the highest physical feature that is the Mount Everest the height which is its highest height is approximately 9 km comes in 8 similarly clouds rainfall 
snow for precipitation thundering we can say like uh, birds vegetation we human beings or animals means flora fauna storm cyclone the very important gas for us that is oxygen carbon dioxide oxygen is a heavy gas so it is found near the earth surface means biosphere hydrosphere lithosphere atmosphere important part of atmosphere and including all these that is the biosphere all these is found in the troposphere so troposphere is the most important sphere of earth now let us come to the next sphere and this next sphere is this one the height of next sphere is 50 km the name of next sphere is second sphere is stratosphere by name it is clear that it is a stratosphere so we cannot see a lot of change in this sphere i'll come to the temperature in last after completing the whole spheres so the upper limit is 50 km if we ask about importance then the major importance of this sphere is that in this sphere we find there is a very thin layer and this thin layer is of ozone gas it is approximately 3 km thin layer which is in the stratosphere as we all know from sun three types of rays comes large rays and very large rays these are the light rays which comes easily to us similarly second one sun rays are the heat sun rays and this heat sun rays also easily reach to earth and this last one is the ultraviolet rays and this ultraviolet rays are very harmful to us and that is the importance of ozone that this ozone so the importance of the ozone is that it does not pass the harmful ultraviolet rays and it just reflect this ultraviolet rays to space and this is how this layer help us from these harmful ultraviolet rays now we ask about the second importance of this layer and so this layer is free from birds, clouds, a very small light clouds, the white cotton clouds are found here otherwise no clouds are found in this stratosphere so the aviation department is using the aviation department is using this sphere to run their flights from one place to another place without any opticals so that is the two importance of stratosphere ozone layer is ozone layer is there and the next one is that we can use this uh, sphere as for for the purpose of aviation also now one thing is that upper limit of troposphere the name of this is topopos topopos similarly the upper limit of stratosphere is stratopos similarly the next sphere is the mesosphere the upper limit of that mesosphere is mesopause so the name of the upper limit of each sphere is on the base of the that particular sphere the sphere ka naam hota usi ke naam ko uski upper limit ka naam hai bas last mein sphere ki jagah lag jayega pose like here troposphere ki jagah topopause stratosphere ki jagah stratopause let us come to the next sphere which is the third sphere the upper limit third sphere is 80 km the name of the third sphere is mesosphere in this sphere the name of this sphere is mesosphere is first thing this sphere is the middle one sphere and the second one is that we can we found a lot of dust particles and many mesos particles in this sphere these are also meso particles so that's why when any meteorites comes towards earth surface because of the gravitation of earth when it passes through this one a region then obviously because of the this uh, mesos are there part dust particles are there simple sa example dekhe to hamare ghar mein curtains hote hain aur hum zor ki us curtain pe apni fingers ko lagaye to hamare haath garam ho jayenge obviously yahan pe bhi jab meteorites aate hain so wo meteorites jab aate hain to is area mein pahunchte hi meteorites all these meteorites which we also called the 
burning star of Purta Tara. Actually, this Purta Tara is not a burning star, it is a meteoroids which come towards the earth and burn in this particular sphere, mesosphere. Well, there is no particular any special importance of this sphere. That's all. Now let us come to the other sphere. The next sphere is the upper limit of next sphere is 400 kilometers. Sphere is also called the ionosphere and also called the thermosphere. The name of this sphere, ionosphere, is basically because many ion particles are in this sphere. These all ion particles are when chargeable, means plus uh, negative and positive or ion particles are there they reflect the radioactive waves to the earth surface and that is the main importance of this sphere when we send radio waves these chargeable part, ion particles reflect those radio waves towards earth without any help of satellite we reach these radio waves easily so that is the most important feature of this sphere and that is the reflection of the radio waves and that is why we are using radios from last since last 200 years without the help of satellite now let us come to the next sphere as I already told you that the upper limit of mesosphere this one is the mesopause the upper limit of this ionosphere is the is called ionopause, ionopause. The last one sphere is called the exosphere. My name it is clear. The atmosphere exists from here. So that is why this is called the exosphere. Actually, the, if we ask about the upper limit of exosphere, then there is a, we found a lot of difference between different geographers. Few geographers are saying the upper limit is 900 km and some are saying 1000 km, some are saying 1100, 1200 to 1300 km and above. And many are saying that there is no upper limit of exosphere. It, from here, the space starts. Till space, uh, we found exosphere. So, that is the importance of exosphere that from here we found. The, the exit towards the atmosphere. As I told you ki in the last we discussed about the temperature then this is very easy to learn about the temperature in the first sphere as we go upward side and that is 164 meter upward sides we found temperature minus 1 degree centigrade temperature decreased so in the first sphere temperature is decreased while in the next sphere temperature increased in mesosphere next sphere temperature decreased as we go upward side in the next sphere ionosphere the temperature is increasing and in the last sphere that is the exosphere the temperature is again decreasing as we go upward sides so we found alternate radiation here. According to this, we found in the at most ionopause temperature approximately 1 0 degree centigrade while it is a stratosphere. So temperature is increasing but not too much. So we cannot find a lot of changes here. A little bit changes here. That is why the temperature uh, what we found here is 1 degree centigrade that's all. And as we go upward side then we found in mesopause the temperature is decreasing so it is minus 100 degrees centigrade while here the temperature in ionosphere the temperature is very high approximately 1000 degrees centigrade on other hand as we if we go to exosphere the temperature is in decreasing and there is no upper limit of exosphere it goes towards the space and we all know that upper limit of and we all know that uh, space is very cold so this is how I try to explain you about the layers of atmosphere this layers of atmosphere is also called the structure of atmosphere now the second important thing 
in this chapter is the composition of atmosphere that we will discuss in the second part of the chapter atmosphere thank you